today I'm sharing just a short video with you with some hacks and tips that you might find useful when painting in acrylics. friends welcome to another art video from the artifix 23 studio my name is Pietru if you are new here feel free to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new art vibes coming your way and if you enjoy the video I would really appreciate a thumbs up oh hello <laughs> okay some of these hacks might seem a bit obvious or you might even be able to find alternatives from your local art and craft store these are just some of the things that I discovered while painting in acrylics and that still works for me. Acrylic paint is quite a forgiving medium, but sometimes we run into problems that simply is not fixable by just painting over it, especially when the paint has dried on the canvas. So here's my first hack for cleaning up mistakes or removing unwanted layers. When working on an acrylic painting a few years ago, I painted a couple of layers before realizing that it wasn't going as planned at all. And that I would have to somehow try and remove a layer or two to get back to a previous layer when it was still going well. I was wondering if there could be an easy way to remove the unwanted layers without damaging my work or having to spend too much time trying to paint it right. That's when I thought of rubbing alcohol. I always clean my white drawing table with rubbing alcohol when I'm done with a project. It removes all sorts of um, art media like charcoal, soft pastel, paint splatters and even glue. So I put some on a cotton bud and very gently swiped over the area that I didn't like. And it worked. Here are a few recommendations when trying that yourself. Use only a tiny bit and don't scrub at your painting so as not to disturb the layers that you actually intend to keep. Also, don't use this technique on paint that is still wet. The rubbing alcohol acts as a solvent and the paint might smear or stain areas that it's not supposed to. The rubbing alcohol dries quickly but just make sure it's completely dry before applying paint again. Other than that, it really works and for me it's a great alternative for fixing mistakes in acrylics. My next hack is for storing your squeezed out paint in between painting sessions. We all know the frustration of returning to your easel the next day only to discover that the paint on your palette is now a dry hardened lump and now you have to throw it away and squeeze out fresh paint. Paint is too expensive to waste so I came up with my own solution. I scrape the paint off my palette and scoop it onto the lid of a small airtight container. Then I spritz water into the plastic container and place it over the paint onto the lid, sealing it tightly. I do it this way around because when I come back to it, I just use the lid as a palette. This really works for me and I have even come back to the paint after a week or more and it was still absolutely perfect to just carry on painting. Another hack that ties in with the previous one is to spritz water onto your paints during a painting session. It kind of seems obvious, but I tend to forget when I really get carried away with my painting. Just keep a spray bottle right next to your palette. That way you see it all the time and you will hopefully not forget. And the last one is just a little bonus tip. Don't judge a paint layer until it is completely dry. All paint has a drying shift which basically means that a color becomes duller or brighter as it dries. While the paint is still wet it might look a bit too bright or too dull. If you're unsure about a layer just let it dry completely. Once dry it will probably look perfectly fine. And that is it for today. I hope you find this video helpful in your daily art endeavors. Look out for my next video where I will take you on a tour of my Inktober sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time and as always remember to follow your art.